Welcome back everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be covering the long stretching neck effects seen in Token's boom music video featuring JID. Now the way that I'm gonna show you how to do this effect is actually different than the way that they did it. I believe that they did it with some basic color solids and then just animated it by hand. I think this way is more realistic and I think it's a lot easier. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is film your subject on a green screen or you can just rotoscope your subject but it's gonna be easier if you just do a green screen. Then you're gonna to wanna to get your hands on some footage where the camera is ascending. So I put the drone in my backyard and just lifted it up just so slightly, but making sure to start it off at about my height. Open it up in After Effects and make sure your subject clip is on top and your background footage is on bottom. And then go ahead and key out your green screen, but I'm not covering how to do that in this tutorial because I've done something similar in another tutorial and I have a Skillshare class that you can check out. You can get a free month of Skillshare, the link is in my description. Now where the effect started, I keyframed the position of the subject clip to lower off the screen since the camera goes up and the shoulders aren't going to be following the neck and the head. Now we're gonna use a puppet tool and you can do this in either the layer panel or the composition panel. So if you see me swapping back and forth, it doesn't matter which panel I'm actually in at the time. So where the effect starts, we're gonna add puppet points. And I go around the entire body, placing points on spots that I know I for sure don't want to move or get distorted. Since we're going to be stretching out that neck, we're still going to have to put points around the head because if we don't, then the head will look compressed by the end of it and all distorted and we don't want that. So once we've made all of those points, then we're going to put a line across the neck because we definitely want to stretch out the neck. And then now we're going to move to the end of the effect and select everything that we're going to be moving. So that is the neck and the head. And you select multiple points by holding down shift on the keyboard and clicking each individual point. And then you can drag it up when they're all highlighted and you should see that it stretches out that neck. So now after we've done that, if something's looking a little wonky and you need to control specifically one point at a time, then you can make sure you click out to deselect all those puppet points and then you can choose each one individually if you need to make a different type of adjustment. Just be careful when you're placing the puppet points because it automatically creates a keyframe. That's why we start at the beginning of the effect and then we move to the end of the effect and then make our adjustments so that will keyframe that animation to stretch out over time. And boom, that is how you do the effect seen in boom. I've been waiting three years worth of tutorials to use that one, I guess. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.